Okay, what up guys? AJ Sensors Vlogs here. Um, another video about some fidget spinners. And well, today at my school, I got a fidget spinner, but my friend, his... Okay, hang on. I'll have to show you. If you can kind of see, I don't know, there's the ball bearings... The shield, there's kind of a shield in there or something that holds the ball bearings in place and stuff. His ball bearings fell out, so we didn't have any more. So what I did is, some skateboards don't have bearings like these. They don't have bearing bearings. They have like weird, these. They have these. My friend gave me four of those and four over there that I gotta make his fidget. I kind of make fidget spinners. But... So, anyways, the, um, this is the guard or that holds all the bearings in place. So, what I'm going to do is, if you've seen videos, you've probably seen videos on these, uh, taking the shields off or guards off bearings. If you can kind of see, there's little rudges, and you've seen ones about these that you can't take the shield off. But today, I'm going to show you, you can take those shields off easily. All you need is a knife and your bearing. So, what you're going to what you're gonna do, go on the outside, it's going to hurt you. Go on the, where this little ring is, right here on the inside kind of puncture a hole and with that hole use some leverage and hang on you get your knife go in the hole and be careful but you kind of try and Pull it out, but if it don't come out on that side, make another hole. And don't worry, this will not damage your bearing. Uh -oh. I dropped my bearing. I don't know where it's at. I can't see. There it is. Ah! Okay, back to the video. Anyways, with the little hole, you try and use some leverage and you pull upwards and it should. And like this, it pops the ring out. Now that the ring's popped out, I already did it to one, but the, oh, that's not the one. This is it. See, that's what it looked like before. And then I pop this side of the ring out. This bearing looks different. And as you see, it don't spin. Some, okay, some people lose the, a bearing, another bearing or something. And they don't have any other bearings. But they have these weird types of bearings. I'm going to show you how to use these. And these <coughs> just make a fidget spinner again. So what you want to do is have your... If you see my last last video, I called it Mexican sauce. But if you don't know, it's WD-40. Most of you should have that at home. Also, I showed a video about how to make it quieter. It's a quiet fidget. Now, what I'm going to do, since I already did it to one of them, I'm going to... What you're going to do is use your Mexican sauce, or WD-40, spray it on here. And I already kind of did it to this one. But, and once you do that, you can go after it with a wire brush. So, I'm going to do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished. And uh, that's what it looks like now. It's pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the one I cleaned and took the shield off. Put it in the center. And I'm going to get my other ones. Because the other ones don't really matter. I'm going to stick that there. And so, 
I'm missing one more because he broke the the other one broke. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use one of these, and which you can get these off of. Some skateboards have those. You can get them off rollerblades, scooters, or anything else. I'm gonna make a substitute. Stick it. And I'm gonna show you. Just need something thick, long, and that sounds weird. Thick, long, and you're gonna use it to push those in. I'm gonna show you real quick. Okay. What you're gonna do, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my middle bearing. I can kind of push it in just a little. Oh, that one I can push in. It's always the middle one I can. And sometimes you can use the edge of a table to fix it. But be careful. You don't wanna crack your shield or body of the fidget. So. Here it goes. That's what it looks like now. So what I'm gonna do now, so I can show you with the one of these. Okay, so I'm gonna stick the bearing in just as much as I can. It's not in all the way. It's gonna, as you can see, I can just pop it right in that easy. And it's that easy just to put one of those bearings on. And I'm going to put the rest on it and I'll be back. Okay guys, I popped the bearings inside and I'm just wiping up because I sprayed some WD-40 on it. Try to make it quieter. And this is my final product. It looks like a regular spinner. It's just this bearing sticks out. And when I turn it, because I did this to show you how to take those caps off, those uh, shields off. It looks like this, but... This is, I'm going to show you a spin. It works really good. So, this is my custom bearing. I call it the uh, Oreo because it's black and white. I don't know why, I just call it that. Either the Oreo or the Panda. You guys comment what you want me to call this fidget. I might be giving this fidget away. I don't know, I might, yeah, I might give this fidget away. So, if, if I give this away, here's how you could win. So, uh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe, like this video, like my other videos, and comment what you liked about all of my other videos and this video. A lot of my other videos are dumb, so. But, just like what you liked about this video, and leave a comment, anything else. Any tips, tricks, or anything? And peace.